The first of fiery attacks were exchanged in the race for New York governor. Voters decide in November with Governor Hochul and Republican challenger Lee Zeldin indirectly facing off in separate press conferences today. CBS 2's Jessica Moore here now with what each candidate had to say. Jess. Well, Dana, we're getting an idea of what platforms each candidate might run on, with Hochul focusing on expanded abortion rights and Zeldin slamming the current state of crime and justice in New York City. Today, Governor Hochul announced a $25 million investment to fund abortion services and clinics at 13 organizations across the state, following the U.S. Supreme Court's decision to overturn Roe v. Wade. New York State, we're not going backwards, and I made a promise to New Yorkers and women all across this country, any woman in need of health care, reproductive health care, will be welcome with open arms here in New York State, and I intend to keep that promise. As someone who's governing while actively campaigning to keep her seat, Kathy Hochul appears to be hoping the abortion issue will mobilize female voters. But she's also facing a multitude of questions about crime and the economy. Today, she skirted the issue of Jose Alba, the bodega owner charged with second-degree murder for what he says was a self-defense stabbing of an unruly customer. Some people have called for the governor to remove DA Alvin Bragg. Send the right message to charge him with murder. It's not the role of the governor to make those local decisions. Meanwhile, Hochul's Republican challenger Lee Zeldin is focusing on the crime wave sweeping the city and has already promised to remove Bragg if he is elected governor. You have Jose Alba get attacked, and in this innocent man with his own self defense. He ends up finding himself in Rikers Island slapped with a murder charge. Kathy Hochul says that we should be cutting Alvin Bragg some slack, that he just got there and he's doing his job. I say to Kathy Hochul that she should fire Alvin Bragg today. Zeldin today slammed Governor Hochul for failing to pass cashless bail reform, but the governor says she is well aware of the crime problem in New York City. I know there's a lot of anxiety out there. I don't need to read a poll. I walk the streets. I talk to people. In the past, Kathy Hochul has resisted calls to remove Bragg, a power she certainly has. Zeldin would not commit today to maintaining Hochul's commitment to expanded abortion rights if he wins the governor's race. Dana? Thank you, Jessica.